this is the way i'm going to use for our calendar they are all here ready always make sure you download all the resources before you start we have their logo that they give me is there the calendar the general calendar is there so this calendar we have to download it from the nets it just goes to the internet and type 2024 january calendar 2024 february calendar or all the calendars will come for you to download and make sure you download it as png file all right all right welcome back now we are designing desktop calendar so let's try the title desktop calendar then the size that they give me was 34.72 34.72 inches then the height would be 16.66 inches so that is the the size they give me for the desktop calendar the resolution the same 300 the color mode rgb color so let's start by creating create all right now as you know already the first thing is to lock unlock our background so let's click the unlock you come to the layer panel then you click on the unlock background this lock you click on it for it to unlock now we are going to start by creating a sheet so let's go to the two bars the two bars are here no we can make it long by clicking this particular sign when you click it here it will be straight you can go back by taking it back again but i've got it this way so we pick a rectangular tool we come to the canvas and draw a very big rectangle okay i want to change the color so they give me a logo let me go and pick the logo to so give me a logo and some pictures to use for the calendar so let me bring the logo so you drag and put it in i want to use the colors on the logo for the calendar so let's come here you come to the rectangular layer so this small box here we double click on it we want to change the color then we come here to pick the colors here so you click here to pick this one I think it's okay now let's go and pick the the pen tool so you come here add alcohol point two to this one add alcohol point two click on it then you come to the line this line at the edge of it you want to create an anchor point so that we can edit the shape so we click on it you see when i click on it it has created a point there then you can hold the point that you drag to create the shape nicely all right now let's go and bring one of the pictures okay so we are going to fix this picture here Yeah, we click here yeah, or you enter now obviously we have to rasterize so we are following the make sure that always when you make a picture you rasterize you right click to rasterize it so right click rasterize layer then let's rasterize the logo too 
Now I want to put the picture inside the, the ship. So you come to the ship under the picture. You right click. Then create creeper mass. That's fine. Now the next thing is to continue designing. So let's put this logo somewhere here for now. Then I want to create a design around the ship. So what I'll do is that I'll still go to the rectangular tool. You drag, leave it, then you click on the enter. So go for the pen tool, the anchor point tool. Create a shape here. Drag it a little bit. Okay. Now I want to change the color to this color, this yellow. It's like yellow ochre. And click OK. So what we are going to do is I'm going to put this rectangular shape under. So you drag it and put it here under it. Let it come here. Great. Then I'm going to use the arrow group arrow tool. okay that's fine i think i like it so let's create another design here at the top so let's go again to the rectangular to click on it come here draw a very long shape So we are going to change the color to this particular color. Alright. Then we pick the add anchor tool. Want to edit it? Come to the middle, click on it to add the anchors. Then we are going to shape it to so hold here and drag see the behavior any ship that you want it can be done so let's do it this way drag it up a little so i have to put this ship under to make our come here to a rectangular thread ship so i'll drag down all right that's fine so i'm going to duplicate this one and then hold alt then you drag or just drag it inside this one the add new layer it's the same thing so let me change this one to the yellow okay drag it So I want this to be under the red. That's good. Ship it a little bit this way. Okay, that's fine. Now on the logo, you have to place it somewhere. So let's go and pick the elapse tool to create a circle.
bit white so you come here you double click you pick the colors from here now i want to put this shape on top so come and drag and put it on top that's great there's a black stroke or there's a black outline around the ship i want to remove it so you come up here then you click you click on the first one to remove it now you see that it's white it has been removed so we are going to place the ship or the logo here so you come you drag to the top let it will be on the circle Reduce the shape a little. Great. Kind of like what I'm seeing. Alright, so let's go to the internet and get some resource. So we are going to pngegg.com. So let's go to web type 10 total. Enter. So you look through for the ones and that will be best for the work. I think let's pick this one. Okay, let's pick this one. Click on it. So by PNG, I always download it from PNG egg. So you come here. PNG egg for free. Click on it. So let's also download some calendar 2024 January calendar PNG. So you come here, you click, or we just type it. Come to images. So here we select the one we want. So let's search. You can either download or from January to December, or just pick one by one. I think we just click on this one. So you just download a right click then save image as all right so let's continue to pick more resource let's go to the folder then we'll bring this particular image this is a torn paper So we hold and drag it. Rasterize layer. So let's come up a little bit. All right, that's fine. Let me send the image up a little bit. Okay. Let's go ahead and bring the calendar. The generic calendar. So you click with drag. Alright, you hold the transforms and bring it a little smaller. We enter. Okay. So the Jerry calendar is also here. So I'm going to room this 2024 from there. Rasterize. Come to the marquee tool, rectangular marquee. Let's zoom in a little bit. Because I want to write it somewhere. 
to pick the marking tool we are cleaning it from there just cut it delete on the keyboard you press the delete key to, to delete now we want to remove this marquee the selection from there so you press ctrl d to deselect come to the zoom tool zoom out So let's pick the test tool and write 2024. Zambula type two. So 2024. Buy this one. So we are going to turn it. So you bring the cursor here at the corners, you have that to turn to an arc, then you turn it, you drag to turn it this way. Okay, enter. Then you see this square sign, you have to enter on your keyboard. Or oh, you click on it. So you want to be in 24 here. So I want to change the color, come to the test tool, click on it, you come to the top, click on it, pick this color from the, the logo, the logo color. Let's also write uh, the name of the association is an association with the calendar by C Beckett's moment. We are going to bring in that one also here, down here. Decrease the size a little bit. On top. Change the color to black. Or oh, let's put the color from the the picture. So the association, let's duplicate this one, good odds, drag, let's decrease the size of the two, so we come here, to click on the association, you also click on the the machine packet holding control whilst you are selecting them okay that's fine all right that's perfect so if you want to do the February one you just have to change the calendar to February then they have to change the picture too I think you have to do that. Right, so let's do the February one, then we end it. So what we are going to do is that we are going to change the picture, then the calendar here. So we click on the picture, then remove the eye from there. Then we are going to pick another picture from the market to main. So let's use this one. You drag, you drop. Alright, so here 
you are going to rasterize it again rasterize the picture then you drag it down here totally to automatically be inside the ship then let's drag it to be bigger nice one enter click on the the January calendar move the eye from there let's go and pick the February calendar so fix this one to there nicely So here to you have to remove the 2024 here. So let's rasterize. Go to the marquee tool. Remove it from there. You select it there. You click on the delete. You select Ctrl D. Then you are done. So you can do this to all the pictures from January to December. You just have to be sure that you download all the calendars from January to December. They have enough pictures to fill all the 12 months. Now let's put it on a markup. So let's go to Facebook. PSG markups. Click on the first one. So we are going to write desktop markup. Desktop calendar. Backup, enter. So you are going to select one of them. I think this first one will be the best for the work. Click on it. Click download. Free download. Alright, now this is what we downloaded. Horizontal Calendar Studio Markup. So we just double click on it. So you drag it and put it in Photoshop. Alright, so after dropping it, this is what you see. And these are the layers for the markup. So the first thing you are going to do is that you are going to look for where you are going to fix our markup. So when you check here, your design here. See it has written it for your design here. So we have to double click on this small box inside it. Double click to open a tab for you. So this way you are going to fix your calendar. Now you go and pick your calendar. So this is the calendar. You drop it here. Right, it has fixed perfectly for us. So always make sure you have a very really perfect markup. Or you measure your size before you go and pick up your markup. So what I'm going to do is that I go to close it. Then you click on yes, save changes to the Photoshop document yes now uh, you see that it's perfectly done for you so thanks for watching my name is jason Appa, a graphic designer and uh, artist don't forget to subscribe i'm out